Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you all first and foremost who subscribed so far based on the first two videos I posted. Um, thank you all who gave me a thumbs up. Again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And um, in this channel, I'm gonna be talking a lot about the cost of living in Buffalo, Niagara area and surrounding um, areas as well. I will mostly be taking you through day-to-day -day activities and um, during all four seasons of the year. And then I'll talk about how much it costs for each one of those activities. Now in today's video, I'm going to be covering a few different things. I'm going to cover specifically what my husband and I pay to live in the Buffalo area. I'm going to talk about exactly where we live in relation to the city of Buffalo. And I'm going to talk about how much we paid for our home, what we pay for property taxes, some questions that I regret not asking about property taxes before we purchased our home, and I'm also going to talk about cost of childcare, and I will also include cost of utilities. Um, and with utilities, I have some helpful tips and tricks in regards to questions that would be helpful for you to ask um, regardless of where you're moving. So these are going to be some helpful tips, even if you're not specifically looking to move to the Buffalo, Niagara area um, and surrounding regions um, it's still there are some helpful questions that you should be asking uh, regardless of the area you are considering moving to so if that sounds good to you then keep watching so the first thing I wanted to talk about is exactly where do we live in relation to the city of Buffalo my husband and I live in what's called the village of Hamburg New York and it's located about 20 minutes outside of the city of Buffalo New York it's referred to sometimes as the South Towns because it is south of Buffalo um, the village of Hamburg New York is known for a few things it's known for how safe it is it's known for being a more suburban area it's known for its excellent, excellent school districts and childcare facilities. And um, also the one thing that spoke to me was its walkability in the area that I live. In terms of what we paid for our home, we closed on our home in January 2019 and we purchased our home for $180,000. Yes, $180,000. And that was when we were actually in a bidding war. So it wasn't even listed at 180. We ended up spending more than what it was listed to get the home. So um, that for us was huge. The cost of housing here is very, very reasonable. It is going up a little bit right now. The lower interest rates are very appealing to people right now. So um, I would make sure you still do your research um, in whatever area you're looking to move because housing prices change, obviously. So um, that's what we paid originally for our home. I am going to leave a link in the description below um, so that you can see the original listing of our home with all the pictures of what the home looked like. It has all the square footage and details of the home in there, how many beds, how many baths, because since then, since we purchased, we have done a lot of remodel on our home, not because we had to it was actually move-in ready um, there was nothing that really had to be um, done to the home um, but honestly um, it wouldn't be if I was to show you pictures of the home as it is right now it wouldn't give you and even tell you about the square footage right now it wouldn't be an accurate dep depiction based on what we paid for the home because we've improved it so much so um, I will leave that link below if you're curious to see what exactly we got um, in terms of square footage, in terms of how many beds and baths and so on for $180,000 in 2019. The next thing I wanna talk about is very important and it is property taxes. I was really worried, that was the one thing I was concerned with moving here because everybody had been saying property taxes are gonna be so crazy. Well, that I learned is not always the case. It really depends on where exactly you are moving in relation to the city. There are some areas in the city where property taxes are as little as a few hundred dollars a year. And in some areas of the city, there are houses, there are, you know, it's $10,000 a year. And then when you get to the suburbs, it's the same thing. There are certain areas that are more expensive than others. And there are certain things I wish I had asked more questions about because we do pay a higher fee for property taxes in relation to some close areas to us. And I wish I would have known more about that before we selected the location. Now, I want to preface this with I'm extremely happy with what we pay every month and I will share that with you right now. So 
what we pay for our mortgage originally before we did our remodel was $583 per month for mortgage. Now, I chose to separate out the property taxes and that's what I'm gonna get to next. We pay for the yearly property taxes $6,200 per year to live in the village of Hamburg, New York. That boils down to about $520 per month for property taxes. So since we did our refinance recently, our mortgage has gone up because we did a cash out refinance to do remodels on our home. And now our mortgage is $600 even per month and our property taxes are still the same, about $520 per month. So we are paying for a now about 1,800 square foot home because we, again, did a lot of remodel. Um, we are paying about $1,100 per month for an almost 1,800 square foot home that is pretty much completely remodeled now. So I think that's really good, very reasonable, especially in comparison to where we were living below, before in Lucan Beach, California. Um, now let's get into questions I wish I would have asked about mortgage, uh, excuse me, about property taxes that I did not. Um, and I regret it because there are, I learned after the fact that we purchased our home, I learned that there are certain areas in Hamburg that do not fall under the town of Hamburg and the village of Hamburg taxes. So there are certain people that get to experience all the wonderful walkability and activities in the village of Hamburg, New York and amazing restaurants. They get to still enjoy the amazing, excellent school districts in Hamburg, but they pay like a third of the taxes that I pay. So what I learned is that right now, what we pay is school tax, obviously, Erie County tax, but we also have to pay village tax and our house overlaps with town taxes as well. That's why our taxes are so high. So wherever you're looking to move, and this applies to any state where you're looking to move to, ask follow-up questions about the area you're looking to move in. Can I still get into the school districts that I want and can I still experience the activities that I want in the area that's close by and be able to walk there within a certain amount of time? And can I still drive there within a certain amount of time? Can I still experience everything I want while having lower property taxes and not maybe falling in the line of like town or village, wherever you're looking? So that was the one thing I regrettably did not follow up on as far as the question. But again, our payment every month for having this single, amazing single family home, which eventually I might do a house tour to show you like all the remodels we've done. And you can see the before and afters because I've sent you the link now in the description below for the before pictures. But um, it will give you some, I hope this actually, you know, gives you some ideas of what questions you could ask. So um Next things next, utilities. I was really concerned people had all these ideas that I was gonna end up paying during winter time like $500 per month to heat our home. Now that is so far from the truth and the reality is is in, in areas like Buffalo that have some extreme weather patterns during certain seasons of the year, um, there is something called budget billing. Ask your local, wherever you're looking to move, ask if you're going to a place with extreme weather patterns, ask about is there budget billing available? Budget billing keeps your payment every single month exactly the same regardless of usage. That is huge. So for us, we pay for gas $71 and change per month regardless of how much we are heating our home or how much we're cooking on our gas stove, regardless of any of our usage, we are paying $71 and change per month because we're on something called budget billing. You have to manually opt into that option though. So ask wherever you're looking to move, ask about that. So the other thing, what else we pay for is obviously electric. Same thing, we're paying about $71 and change because we're on budget billing for that as well. Water is the only thing that's been fluctuating for us because I haven't, I don't know if there's budget billing available. I have to actually call about that. Our water bill has been fluctuating due to all the construction. Our construction workers are frequently washing their tools off and there's just more water usage because my husband and I have been working full time from home. So obviously we're using the water more often. So our fluctuation is anywhere between $60 to $100 per month. That is still not bad in terms of like total utilities, that's not bad at all. 
So ask about budget billing regardless of the area you're living in. Call up the utility companies in the areas that you're considering moving and ask them if budget billing is available. Um, last and final thing for utilities is internet, pretty standard. I felt like it was kind of comparable to California actually. For the highest speed internet you can get um, here in this area in the village of Hamburg, we use something called Verizon Fios. And again, we're on like the golden standard for that. And we pay about $60 per month for our internet. The last thing I wanted to talk about was daycare. Um, I don't think I mentioned this in my last video, but I am 20 weeks pregnant currently with my husband and I's first baby. And so we had to obviously think about childcare. Um, and childcare in the area that we live in is um, really hard to get. Um, and you have to end up being on like waiting lists and things like that. We ended up getting lucky and finding a really good place, but I'm gonna give you a breakdown of three different types of daycare in this area and the cost that we were quoted for all three and what was included. And leave me a comment below. I'm curious because we had never done this kind of research before. Uh, obviously, we'd never been pregnant before. Um, I'm curious to know, is are these prices comparable to the area that you live in? So leave me a comment below. Let me know, are these comparable to other areas or is this unique to the area that we live in? I'm curious to hear from you. Um, so first things first, an at-home daycare. So there are certain laws that require a certain amount of staff members to children in the state of New York, and that's a good thing because you don't want like 100 kids for only one daycare person taking care of them. Um, but for the at-home daycare person, they did not have enough um, staff members, obviously, because a lot of at-home care, care centers are just, they're not necessarily making as much money as a big daycare center. So um, they were, they didn't have room for our future daughter. Um, so we weren't able to go with that one, but that one was the least expensive at $50 per day. I think it was $52 per day, actually. Um, but she just didn't have availability. So at-home daycare was the least expensive. And I'm, I know for a fact there are less expensive options, but I'm just going to give you the three that we were quoted for. So $52 per day um, and we will need five days a week of childcare just for reference. So five full days per week for childcare. The second option was a daycare center. The daycare center, I'm not going to say the name because I'm going to say some negative things about it and I don't want to do that to the daycare center in the area that I live in. So, But we did look at a daycare center and it offered five full days per week uh, of daycare but they did not include diapers in their fee and they um, did not include, um, I don't think they included food, like solid foods in their, in their fee. So their fee for one full month of five days per week of childcare was $1,040 per month. So, um, and again, that did not include, and also their staff was not re required to be credentialed, meaning they needed, they could have been like a high schooler, 18 year old kid straight out of high school, and they would need absolutely no experience, no credentials in order to work there. So that, that didn't sit well with me, so we chose not to go with that route. Now, I'm gonna now tell you the one that we did go with, and that one is called EduKids, and it's located in Orchard Park. Orchard Park, by the way, is where the Bills Stadium is, and it's also where a lot of the Bills players stay. So I kind of feel like my husband secretly mentioned EduKids to me just because he's hoping to see a Bills player when he's picking up our daughter. <laughs> so I think I was maybe conned into this a little bit, but honestly, I'm so glad he mentioned it because EduKids seems absolutely amazing. So EduKids provides diapers and solid foods once they're at the solid food eating age um, included in their price. That for me speaks highly on like convenience I'm excited about, but also like cost wise, it makes sense for the cost that they charge because they include, again, unlimited diapers and um, solid foods when the child is starting to eat solid foods. Um, EduKids also requires all of their teachers to be teachers. They require all of their staff members to be fully credentialed. They also um, received a really good referral from people, from our close friends in this area that send both of their children there for daycare. And so that was really important for us to have a nice referral from somebody that has kids there. Um, and 
So the credentials um, was really an important thing. Also, their staff members have a very low turnover and their staff members, I recognized pretty quickly that they were a lot older um, and it just made me feel more comfortable. And also the fact that they are like people that have worked there for about 10 years plus, it just makes me feel more comfortable knowing that they have a lot of experience under their belt. And so the cost for edu kids for five full days per week um, of childcare, six 30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, is $1,468 per month. Um, so that's if I um, do like the ACH method. There is, I think it's $1,498. It's more expensive if you pay with like a credit card or something. So our cost will be $1,468 per month for five full days, including diapers and including solid foods, which is what they provide. So um, last but not least, um, I wanted to mention a calculator that um, allows you, regardless of where you're going to move, even if, even if you're not looking to move to the Buffalo Niagara region, um, if you're looking to move anywhere, it's going to be an awesome calculator to show you a breakdown of cost of living in the area based on your family size. So in the calculator, I'll leave it linked below in the description. Um, click on it and then you'll put in the state that you're looking to move to or the location you're looking to move to, and you will include your family size. So how many adults are in your family, how many children are in your family, and it will calculate the cost of living um, based on your family size. Um, so I really liked that, and it was something that I used personally. Obviously, we didn't have a daughter, or we, we didn't have a child at the time. I wasn't pregnant at the time that I used the calculator, but I was able to see, hey, if we decide to have one child, or two children, or three children, um, when we move to the Buffalo, New York, York, how much will the cost of living increase based on how many children we have so anyways that was really all I had for you today um, let me know if you you know want to see more information about cost of living stuff in the next video again this channel is really going to be mostly about um, you know taking you through all of the activities through all four seasons of the year and I'll be during those activities sharing with you how much each one of those costs so um, concerts in this area, you know, everything that you would experience if you lived here, I'm going to talk about the cost of all of those activities. So if that sounds good to you, subscribe to my channel. Again, give it a thumbs up if you liked this video. It helps the YouTube algorithm know to share it with other people and leave me a comment below and let me know um, what kind of you want to see next. So thank you all for joining me in this video and I will see you all next time. Bye.